The twin cities of Keystone and Hill City bookend Mount Rushmore. These tiny towns have about 1,500 residents between the two of them. They were once mining towns that died out when the mines ran out, but thanks to Mount Rushmore and the tourism industry, they've rebounded. Dolls Chainsaw Art has locations in each city, and it's a fun photo op. Just make sure to leave them a little tip. Matt, this turns actually really comfy. It is? It's nice. Oh. Snuggle. Snuggle is real. Smokey the Bear is a reference to the local high school, the Hill City Rangers. They're the only school in the country with Smokey the Bear as their mascot. Keystone is located 10 miles away. While Hill City focused more on the arts scene, Keystone, which is located literally next to Mount Rushmore, turned to tourism. Here it's Sasquatch who greets us. The Black Hills Central Railroad connects Hill City and Keystone. The original railroad died out in the 50s, but it was revived in the 90s as a tourist attraction. Today you can ride the 1880 train, an actual steam engine. This last year, I tried to talk my family, including my parents and Cheryl's parents, into going on the 1880 train, but they weren't too keen on the idea due to our last experience on the train. So I've transported us back to low def 2009 again to share with you our ultimate train ride derailing experience. We're going at a top speed of like six miles an hour right now. Yeah. Um, it's been a lot of work and we just really started moving. That's when things literally went off the rails. Please everybody stay in your seat. You think? Don't be getting off the train or walking around. Please stay in your seats. Well, it seems back in 2001. What happened? Well, they climbed all the well, way up and all the way back. The all track. seven thousand. You fell off the this chick. <laughs> well, they got back down. They climbed up the bathroom. We can't go to the bathroom. We can't go to the bathroom. Oh no! Like, no way. We've done Here we are off the tracks, <laughs> trying to figure out what's wrong. Somebody, they're running around. That can't be good. This is their scam of getting us to buy food and beverages. I guess making bad decisions on vacations is my thing. All right, I was scouting, man. Does anybody know what the pot This can take an hour, or this can take two hours. Here's the lady that won't stop talking. All right, now we're heading off to the other car. some garbage cans. Yeah, like that's where it was riding into the dirt. Right, you can see here where the train seemed to go off and tear up the railroad tracks. This is on the, the bridge here. The uh, ties have split right through there on our bumpy ride. Finally, a diesel engine arrived to take us back to Hill City. We never did make our destination of Keystone, but we did get our money back. I'm not here to damage any business's reputation by any means. I love the tourism industry that takes care of us. This is just a one-time fluky thing, and I would still like to finish that 10-mile ride sometime. But I don't think my family will join me. The Central Railroad line is still running, but in most of the Black Hills, the railroad tracks have been replaced with biking trails. Okay, we're here at the bicycle rental shop. We're gonna rent a bike and ride from Hill City to Custer, which will pass Custer, the Crazy Horse Memorial, sorry. So we're gonna pass right by the Crazy Horse Memorial on this road. We're gonna go on the George Mickelson Trail, which is this trail that's over 100 miles long here in South Dakota that goes, I think, all the way from Deadwood down to Custer. A lot of it used to be a railroad track. Pretty famous rail, one of the great things to do here in South Dakota. The George S. Mickelson Trail is a 109 mile trail going from Deadwood in the north to Edgemont in the south. We rented bikes to ride just a portion of it. On the trail, I ran into a few people who were biking the length of the trail and they told me most people do it from north to south over two days. Regular bike rentals are quite affordable. E-bikes will cost a lot more, but you'll be able to cover a lot more ground. 